old village swamp man. Slow motion run, tender pole police walker. Precious birthday fudge, swamp knife, full bear. Walker done done me and my people. Couldn't care if you were. It happens all the time. We beat Okiwa. Me and our Pua. We couldn't care if you were. A stone jack, bitter toothless flesh, shabby pimple chin slime, evil milky rash, me and her poo spastic dead eyed hound, bruising dreadlock skull cap. You come into your town, we'll help you party down. Me and her poo we couldn't care if you were, it happens all the time. We beat Okibo, me and her poo Oh, what a night! Oh, what a night! You know, I know a lot of people in this room because I lived in this town about a year ago. Yes, I did. So I want to say hi to all my friends. And I also know a lot of people in this room because so many people have been out on this tour and this is our last set of the tour. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much. I really, we had such a wonderful time. Thank you. And there's no better place in my mind for this tour to end than right here in Saratoga. And there's a lot of meaning in my heart. So. Like I said, I've met a lot of people here. I met my, my buddy Bruce is out there somewhere. My buddy Ham is out there somewhere. Bruce, yes. A uh, little singer-songwriter from New Jersey is out in the audience there. Somewhere. Anyway, I met a guy, this guy Jimmy, that used to live down the street with me. <laughs> and um, today is a wonderful day, like I said. Spirit is wonderful. I can feel the good vibes. I've got to say that some days in all of our lives, and this has certainly happened to me, are not as good as today. And our friend Jimmy, though he's gone through lots of great periods in this story, this story is an ever-evolving, living thing. So at one point he was dancing with Elvises, and at one point he was watching um, comets crash into Jupiter. But tonight, Jimmy's at a low point in his life. He's in his little house. He's got his cat, Poster Nutbag. And Poster Nutbag, his cat, he's sitting in his house, and he's, he's experiencing a quandary. He doesn't know what to do about this perennial blues that has overcome his, his body, his spirit. He's down. He's in the dumps. He's very blue. He's blue. Jimmy is blue. So what he decides to do is he decides he's going to sit and he's going to call on the great spirit guide, his spirit guide, who he calls on once in a while. He'll sit down and he'll start this sort of meditating thing. And um, it's an amazing thing. He puts on like some new age music, Jimmy, and this is how he gets himself out of his funk. He'll sit and put on some new age music and he'll light a candle and he'll start to you know, om, om, and he'll say little mantras and stuff. And, and eventually what happens is, out of the ether, he'll start to see his spirit guide coming down. His incredible, all-knowing, all-powerful spirit guide who's going to come into the room and, and, and spread the truth into his mind. And this always works for him. The crazy thing is, though, these spirit guides, you know, as we all know, they come in many forms, and when they come, Oftentimes they'll speak in sort of a parable or like a, uh, they talk in questions or the truth is hidden inside their message. So on this particular day, Jimmy's sitting cross-legged and he starts to see his spirit guide coming into the, coming into the room. And his spirit guide is a funny little man. He's a funny little man wearing a dress and he comes down and he appears in front of Jimmy and he speaks and he speaks and inside of his words are the great truth the great truth of all time comes out of his mouth. 
here he comes now. I can see him. I can see the spirit guide coming to spread the truth. I see him. Speak the truth, O Spirit Guide. Guide us with your truth. 